I'm going to be showing you how to set up your sterile field for sterile cap changes and the supplies that you'll need. First, begin by performing your hand hygiene. <clears throat> Sanitize or wash and allow your hands to dry fully. The supplies you'll need to gather are a mask, a set of sterile gloves, a 10cc sterile saline flush, a gauze, a sterile cap, and two chlorhexidine pads, not the swabs. The pads will allow for better friction, which is required for CHG. First, once your hands have dried, don your mask. Then, you'll open up your sterile gloves, which will make your sterile field. open all of your supplies onto your field. <laughs> Sometimes things will stick. You may need one more. Open the pads, you tear once in half, and then rip again lengthwise, kind of drop, and it should drop right down onto your field. Okay. So then, you want to assess your baby and what kind of line he has. If you have a Broviac, before you put get sterile, you want to make sure that you clamp at the site. This is a UV, so I'll show you when you hold your with your gauze, you'll just be pinching. I'll show you how to do that. So then, find your sterile gloves. Then you want to take your flush and you're going to flush your cap through until you see water come through or your saline come through. Then with your non-dominant hand, you take your gauze and you're going to pick up your line like so. If it's a, if it's a UV, you might want to pinch at the line so that no air can come back. Just kind of hold your hands like that. Then you'll take one of your chlorhexidine wipes and you want to scrub the site where the cap and the catheter meet for 30 seconds using good friction. Make sure you watch, keep an eye on the clock and make sure you're doing a full 30 seconds. And discard that CHG pad and allow to dry fully for 30 seconds. Once the 30 seconds has passed, you take your other sterile gauze and you're going to remove your cap like so. Then you'll take your sterile CHG pad and you're going to swab and rub with friction around the hub but making sure not to introduce any chlorhexidine into the hub itself. You want to make sure you swab around the lumen but not inside. Swab for 30 seconds using good friction. Then you want to wait a full 30 seconds and fully allow the CHG to dry. If the chlorhexidine does not dry and a cap is put on while it's wet, it will stick, making it impossible to remove when you change it next time. After 30 seconds has passed, you grab your sterile flush with your new cap, you attach, Drop some fluid in if you need to. And twist to connect, making sure that it's connected firmly but not too tight. And then you're free to hook up your lines as needed. <laughs>